Good afternoon everyone. Today we're going to see in part 3 how to implement an arrow to our minimap instead of having our character only showing on it. So it's a little bit easier to see in which direction we're going. So there's only a few steps to do. So let's jump right into it. Back in the project we're going to add the arrow that we need for our minimap. So I already create a folder here with arrow. So I'm going to put everything in relation to the arrow right here. So I already have one here. I'm going to go in my image and just drag and drop this one there. As you can see, this one has a transparent background because it's all little cubes in the back and have a full color in the middle. So that way I'll be able to change the color for whatever I need in my game. So green for myself, yellow for allies and red for enemies. So if you have something like this, you'll be all set and good to go. Just in case you don't know how to get a transparent image, you can always go on Google, search for arrows, and under images, you can go to color and search for transparent. And any image here should be transparent normally, but sometimes it's not. So if you click here, for example, on this arrow, you can see it's transparent because of the background. But once again, sometimes people just take screenshot like this and the image is not transparent. So if you want to convert, if it is, you can just take it and drag it. You can see here, there's no background following. So you know that it's a transparent image. Now we just create, we just create, we need to create a material for the arrow. So just right click material. I'm going to call that arrow underscore M and I'm going to open it. So here, from the result node, we're just going to change uh, one setting here. If you go in the blend mode, the opaque, we're going to change that for mask. That way we're going to be able to see our arrow. So we need just to drag and drop the arrow right in it. So drag that right in it, drag from our GB channel and we're going to search for a multiplier. And we're going to plug this right in the base color and we're going to plug the alpha channel in opacity right here. If you all three on your keyboard, you'll be able to have a color of your choice. So that way my player would be green. And I'm just going to plug that to B right there. And I'm just going to convert that to a parameter and call that arrow color. So if you don't want arrow color, if you don't, if you want another color, you can put whatever you want in here. Our arrow is there. Doesn't look like an arrow. So if you click on plane, now you can see that we have an arrow. This is just for preview, but you can see it's working. So we can just save this and we're all set and good to go to go to the third person character to change everything we need. In the third person character, we're just going to add a plane. So just click on the top left corner plane and put it right there. So you can call whatever you want. So I'm going to leave it as plane and I'm just going to move it on the top of my character. And when you have plane selected, we're going to change the element for our arrow. So right here. And if you click space, you'll be able to turn it up facing the good direction. So if you compile and save, technically it's working now. Uh, but you can see here, if I zoom in the minimap, you can see my character under. It's not what we want. So we have to uh, fix that. So if we click on the plane here, or on another thing too, on the plane here, if you look, we can see our arrow like this and the shadow. So we don't want to see that. So if we are on the plane here, what we can do, we can go on rendering. And on the rendering here, you can select one of those two here. So if you want only your character to see that, but I don't want to see that arrow. So I'm going to put owner, no C. And now if I compile and save, you can see I know there is no more arrow, so that's pretty much what we want, and still on the minimap. So that's pretty uh, easy that way. So now we have to remove our character from uh, the minimap itself. So same thing a little bit applies. So we're going to click on mesh. And on the rendering, here you can see owner not see. If you click that, your character is going to disappear. So we'll just to show you so if you click on this you know no more character but you can still see it on the minimap so it's not the option that we want we want to click only see by the character so only owner can see it so i'm going to click on this and compile and if i do play now you can see that 
there is no more character on the minimap because that camera cannot see it and I can still see it with the other camera so that's working for us so that's pretty much this so I'll catch you on the next one